Welcome back, guys. Um, video, what do you think we're going over? Multi time frame again. This time, we're going to pair it with um, storyline. Okay, so for example, um, let's look at Spy. Okay, let's do top down. So top down, we have, let me, let me, oh, I'm going to give that alert because I need it. Anyways, um, monthly. Okay, so let's look at storyline first. Where is the monthly? We had a monthly QM, we had a monthly low, and we also had a monthly curve. Okay, so we see that price breaks to find what? Monthly structure levels, right? So we have monthly here. Then my price moves from monthly to monthly QM, right? So where's the most obvious place that it's most likely headed is here to the monthly low. Okay, um, so we have that mapped out. Now we understand that monthly is in cells, right? We just traded here, we're coming down, monthly sells. So when we observe our chart, okay, we just do the opposite. This is obviously, you know, if monthly was in buys, if monthly was in buys, but we just switch this. If monthly is in sells, then we have weekly buys, okay? And then we can use any of these time frames to catch a buy. But some of you are getting confused on is you're like, oh, when can I, when can I drop down to lower time frame? You can drop down to lower time frame at any point, okay? As long as we're in the zone, right? So if we're at a, I don't know, a daily support, then we want to be and, and let's say we were in buys, then we can drop down to H4 at that point. Okay. So for example, let's look at um, so weekly H4 M30 M5, right? Where is my highest probability going to be on this trade? Do I want to be taking buys here, here, here? No, but I could, but I don't, I don't want to. It's not what is high probability. Okay, so here, right, we have this monthly and this monthly zone here, okay? So for me, personally, I'm going to be looking at this level here, right? Why this level for weekly? Because I have an RBS and I have a QN right here, okay? So these are two levels. And I know that this is at that monthly zone, okay? Um, now we're at the weekly zone. So what am I waiting for? I'm going to be waiting for H4, okay? So right now I'm teaching you one directional setups right now. Uh, when we go two directional, it's going to get confusing. So right now we just need to master the one directional setups. Um, so here, right, since I'm at a weekly level, I can drop to any of these time frames. But let's say I'm dropping to M30. Okay, let's say I'm dropping to M30 at this point. Uh, if I'm dropping to M30 here, right, where can I find my setup in? if I'm using M30 as my direction, or sorry, H4. If I'm using H4 as my direction, right here. Okay, this is where I'm living at this point. If I'm dropping down to M30, I'm using my H4 as my direction, okay? H4 as my direction, I'm dropping to M30. My setup is going to be in M30. My roadblock is going to be in H1. Okay, so knowing that, right? Knowing that my roadblock is H1, right? My target should be H1. That's my first target. Until that breaks, I can't be targeting anything else. Okay, once it breaks, then I can go to H4. Once H4 breaks, then we have daily to break. Once we have daily to break, then we have weekly, then monthly. Okay, so you're working backwards. For example, 
once M30, once I'm here on M30 and I'm using H4 direction, okay? Um, and the way you wanna do that as well is, is, okay, so let me draw this out. So if I have something like this, something like this, okay? And we have a boss here, right? And let's just say this is monthly. When monthly is in buys, then weekly automatically is in sells. Okay. And if weekly is in sells, then that means my dailies are in buys. And if my dailies are in buys, then that means my H4 is in sells. My H4 is in sells, then that means my H1 is in buys. and so on and so forth. So when I'm in this level, right, I can drop to an H4 because we know this is weekly, right? Weekly, I can find setup on H4 targeting daily roadblock. So wherever my daily level is, I need to mark that out. And then that's my target, okay? Until daily breaks to get to the next weekly, then it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I, I can just target that daily for now and then monitor structure at that point for sales. Um, but let's say we drop to M30, then I'm gonna be looking for whatever H1 target there is, right? Once M30 breaks, pulls back, I can target and anticipate a break of H1, or if M30, breaks out and then breaks H1 and then pulls back. Okay, I can take the buy again and target H4. Make sense? So one trade you're anticipating because it hasn't broken yet, you have taken your breakout, right? M30 made a breakout, you take the pullback on the on the resist on the uh, support or QM level, right? And you take that buy holding it for H1. But if H1 already had broke from M30, then we can take that buy from M30 and hold it for H4, right? We go backwards to H4. Now, when I'm on my H4, I need to hold to see if it's going to break daily. Now, if it doesn't break daily, then I'm gonna be looking for setups in H1. Cells, just working backwards. Or I can go in M15 and, and or M1. But remember, M1, roadblock is M5. And, okay, so you have to understand that. So it's, it's very simple. Once you understand this chart and you memorize this and you know how to operate it, you're just waiting for price to break the next level. So in this example with SPY, this is what I'm waiting for here. And then I'm going to drop down to H4 or M30. If I'm dropping down to M30, that's my setup, then I'm targeting H1. Okay, if I'm dropping to M5, okay, if I'm in M5 from M30 direction, then I need an M15 roadblock to break, to get to the M30. So let's look at um, gold. So gold, what would we have? We have this weekly level, right? Because we're still on monthly buys. One month, right? Monthly buys here. Monthly. And it tapped into these monthly cells, but we have no break, right, on monthly. So monthly is still bullish. We go down to our weekly, okay? We have a weekly resistance here weekly support here, okay? 
and some weekly support over here that I already tapped. Okay, so let's look at that. Then we go down to our daily. Okay, so now you can see that I'm, I'm using Storyline. <clears throat> so if monthly buys, weekly sells, which we had that weekly sell, weekly resistance, okay, that means daily buys, right? So where do I have to observe price in these zones here? Okay, these are my breakouts, breakout levels. So if I'm on daily, what is it? H1, right? H1's right here, roadblock and H4. So all I have to do is monitor on H1, the zone, okay? And then whatever stacking confluences I have, okay, that line up with where I'm trying to buy. Um, this doesn't really line up, so it's not, not really something I wanna take. Maybe something like this would be better. We'll have to see. Um, but until we get to this zone, I have no reason to buy, right? I have no reason to drop down to H1, okay? But what about the cells? Okay, so this would be a two-way setup, right? So we have uh, one day, right? So if monthly is cells, then, or weekly is cells, then that means H4 is cells. H4, cells. Um, Where was it? I know I had some, oh, here. Okay. We have cells coming from here. And um, once it gets to the H4, what do we do? We drop down to the M30. Okay, now let's say you wanted to drop to M5 to catch that high. Okay, so M5 in the zone, right? You're waiting M5, why M5? Because on M5, that's our cell right here. Okay, because we can find setups in M5 with a roadblock of M15. So we'd have to look at M15 from M5 and look for where our break would be, which would be right here. Okay. So after that happens, we go back down to our M5. And we have a QM here. Okay, because this caused break here. We retrace back up into it and drop. Okay, and then from M15, we just move up the time frame. Does M15 break M30? M30 level is here. Yes, so we can hold the position. So we're not just trying to go from M5 to M30 like that. I mean, uh, from M5 to H1, right? We're looking, okay, do we break M15 to get to M30? Yes, okay, so now from M30, we can switch to the time frame, M30. Right, here's M30, and look for our H1. Same level, so H1, we can hold, expecting H4 level. Where's H4 level? H4 level was right here, and right here, okay? Now, H4 level breaking, Right, once H4 level breaks, we can hold for the daily level. Where's the daily level? Right here. Okay, daily level breaks, then we can look for weekly. So you're just working backwards from that M5. But let's say we get new breakout structures coming backwards then. Then we have to take the cells, the, or the buys, the opposite end. So you're just working back and forth, back and forth. And those are two directional setups Right now, you guys should all be focused on only one directional setups until that's mastered, so you master this chart here, okay? This took me a long time to build, so master this shit. Um, and this isn't 100% mine, okay? Like I said, I have mentors. <laughs>